Everyone, this is Vinny Rodriguez, also known as Eight Figure Vision. I'm here today to share with you as a part of our Infinite Insights series. I'm here to share with you the book of the day. The book of the day today is Why Beautiful People Have More Daughters. And this book was written by Alan Miller and Satoshi Kanasawa. Now, um, these guys, these these people in particular very very intriguing um the main theme of what they have here they're talking about evolutionary psychology and that's sort of the theme of this book right now many many of the profound questions that we tend to ask every day related to sex right um related to male versus female right the behaviors that we have every day right the questions they've asked, they've researched, they've studied, and they've found the answers and they've put them in this book. So it's a great read. I'm just gonna go over some main things here with you guys. But um, one of the one of the questions, right? It, why beautiful people have more daughters, right? One of the questions that they talk about is, you know, why are blonde women? I'm gonna just pick out some questions here and share them with you. But there's so many great questions that they answered in here. Definitely, when you pick up the book, you'll find some of those answers yourself. I'll just share with you the ones that I thought were really interesting. So, one of the ones was, you know, why um, they use the Barbie example. And they say, why do men like blonde bombshells and why do women want to look more like them, right? Why does everyone want to look blonde? I'm Latino. I can't tell you, right? Naturally, naturally, most Latina women normally have dark skin. A dark skin, dark hair, right, brown eyes. However, nowadays, because of nowadays, just with all the imagery and that's out there, everyone wants to look like Barbie. So many women tend to dye their hair blonde, right? Those of you women who are watching this today, right? You look beautiful, right? The thing is, though, um, they go over why women actually do that, and there are many, many like deep reasons why. Every time I go over. Uh, in the moment we're gonna talk about has a lot to do with with evolution right and how over thousands and thousands of years right our sex has a lot to do with the behaviors that we have so for example um one of the main things that he says before I answer that question is you know he talks about he talks about um you know, sex different, why are men and women different, right? And one of the things that they talk about in here is that men, we start to see s sexual differences from the day that we were born. So the first day of life when we're in our mother's womb, already sexual differences are happening. So since those sexual differences are happening so early in, in our lifetime, then that's why uh, that innately happens once we actually grow up and throughout time but there's also another thing about our behavior and our brains and the way that our body is created the genes that are passed on to us that are that are being duplicated right in many ways and that are being shown in uh, time and time again throughout our generations right for example hair color right hair color is one main thing so blondies why blondies look so good right why do blondies look so good so one of the reasons is they show in this book, they said blondies are a sign of health. Blonde hair was a sign of health, right? Why do men like women with long hair? I love women with long hair. Um, you know, and it made me sort of think the reason why, right? Because a woman with long hair is someone that has, it shows health. So they say, in this book that what tends to happen with women is as women age they will their hair will actually dry up and when their hair dries up then many women tend to actually cut their hair right and upon cutting their hair then that's that's all they're cutting their hair to just sort of conceal the the dryness of their of their hair right so that kind of made me think like you know, and, and so you can do this test if you want today. Next time you're outside, um, go and, and you find a, a woman who has like long, beautiful hair, right? 
try to guess her age, right? Just from behind, look at her, guess her age. And, you know, just based on the, the length of the hair and based on the color of her hair, right? If her hair is starting to look a little more like tannish or grayish, then she's probably a little older, right? Then when you make the guess, right? Then I want you to walk in front of her, right? Don't be creepy. Walk in front of her and find out how she looks and see if it matches the answer that she can. I bet you nine times out of 10 that she probably looked as young or as old as you thought that she did. So um, it's all about it's sex out like our sexual genes are so vital to to the way that we behave and the way that we react to each other it's it's an amazing thing you know they talk about in here in the book as well um you know why do men why why do men so often like go for why do why do like men go for like midlife crisis <laughs> and things like that so they say men go through midlife crisis right like a you know a guy who's 50 years old and gets himself this beautiful red car right and it's because his wife is going through midlife crisis so because his wife is going not midlife crisis but his wife is going through menopause so it's a myth that men go through midlife crisis it's more a natural something in our minds that maybe the wife is going through menopause right which means that she's losing her reproductive her ability to reproduce so innately right as human beings when that happens and that woman goes through that then now what's going to happen is man is going to go look for woman man look woman right someone who's younger who does have that ability to reproduce doesn't that make sense so when i saw that in this book i was like yeah that makes total sense right it's that we have this caveman-ish uh, and cave ish type, uh, we have those genes in us, right? That have been carried over generation and generation. So it still goes in our thoughts, even though we're modern and, you know, we, we walk around with smartphones and, you know, we have modern technology. That still means that we have to, we have these ancient archaic thoughts and we react still those same like archaic ways so what's up here so in a way uh, you know we start to think about we start to think about how you know many of these many of the the sexual things that happen in our lives those are the things that that create the way that we think right guys sometimes it's just it's just the way that we think so those are just like two Questions that come up in the book, right? They also say, why do beautiful people have more daughters? Well, it's because women, right? Women uh, actually are more attractive. So women who look attractive, right? Ha are more likely to, to produce a more beautiful looking person than men. And the reason why is because um, women, when they're, women when they're young and they're fertile they're still able to reproduce right and when they're still able to reproduce then they create they create the more likelihood that it's going to reproduce someone who's beautiful versus someone who isn't attractive they're not as likely to create someone who's uh who's attractive when they reproduce so uh, why do beautiful people right have more daughters Right, it's all about genes, guys. It's all about genes. So next time, right, next time you're 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 driving your car, or next time you're thinking about, you know, you're you're thinking about, oh, why do why do men get more uh, promotions than women? Right, think about how the genes and the genetics, right, evolution over time may have actually had something to do with that, right, and how we can actually either change that or adapt to that. So. This is Vinny, and that's your Infinite Insights for today.